Hello and welcome to Consult CRM's Excel Import Tool for Microsoft Dynamics CRM. The Excel Import Tool is easy to use, it doesn't require any technical skills and your marketing and sales staff can use it straight away. There's no need to open CRM, it will connect and map directly from your CRM system and you can use the drag and drop facilities to make the field mapping even easier. It helps to keep your data accurate as well by pre-validating the import before the data goes in. It will also detect duplicates before the import. You can import to any entity in CRM including custom entities. And this helps you to add new data and refresh existing data. It's ideal for anyone who carries out regular data imports or perhaps for salespeople picking up leads from trade shows who want to import data on a regular basis. So let's go ahead and take a look at the solution. In this example scenario I have a set of data in Excel that I want to import into Microsoft CRM as new leads. So let's take a look at the functions available. The first thing you'll notice is a section here at the top of the ribbon that details what's available in the Excel import tool. This begins with settings. In the settings area I can point my Excel data load to the specific place where CRM is sitting. And this could be an on-premise connection, a federated connection, or if your CRM system is in the cloud you can point it to the specific cloud instance of your CRM online. Once you are connected to your CRM system, the Excel Import Tool provides a mapping manager inside Excel. This allows you to create a specific mapping and then point it to the right area. So let's call this mapping Leads and I'm going to point it to the Leads area inside Microsoft CRM. I'm going to start the mapping on the second row of the uh, import and here I've got a facility to deduplicate the source data to ensure that I don't import the wrong data twice. You'll notice now that the system has pulled in all of the correct fields from the CRM system and specifically from the leads record. In order to carry out the mapping itself, all I have to do is drag the fields from the mapping from CRM to the headings in my spreadsheet. So let's start with interest, then we want to map the company name, then we want to map first name, and then last name. and we carry this on until all of the headings have been mapped correctly. Once I've completed the field mapping I can take a look at the mappings in the spreadsheet. Here it shows me a list of all of the spreadsheet headings and how they map to the specific fields on the lead record inside CRM. If I open up the company name uh, mapping I could also add some additional items to ensure that duplicates are picked up uh, ahead of the data load. You'll notice also that the rating uh, field is a pick list and that's important because the data that's going in obviously needs to match perfectly the pick list inside CRM. That will become important in a moment when we look at the data validation piece. Having completed all of the mapping I now need to do a test run to ensure the data goes in correctly. This allows me to use the data validation facility in the Excel import tool. So here I'll hit start, OK and I'll get a visual on-screen view of exactly how the data load is working. I can see everything as it progresses and I can see the results down here. It looks in this case like most of the uh, mappings have worked fine although it's flagging a problem uh, that's appearing in row 15 and here I can see the problem very quickly it should be something that maps directly to one of the um, uh, pick list items so I'm going to make that change uh, uh, before the data load goes in. As I check down further I'll notice that uh, uh, it's also identified a duplicate uh, in row 19 and we can see very quickly that uh, it's obvious that there's a duplicate uh, in this particular part of the spreadsheet. So I'm actually going to uh, simply remove uh, that particular item and uh, that should then uh, all work fine. So let's just test it one more time to check that the data load will actually run OK this time. So this time it's running through again uh, 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 doing the test run uh, it looks like all of the data seems to be going in fine no particular problems so we can now go ahead and push on with the actual data import okay so we're now ready to do the data import but before we do let's take a quick look at the CRM system itself and uh, just uh, validate that in fact there are no leads in the system so if we go to the leads area I can see my open leads and there are no lead records available in this view so we know that uh, it's obviously empty and we need to now populate that leads area. So back to the spreadsheet, uh, we'll go to the data import, we'll hit start and 
OK and that will now push that data load directly into CRM and populate the uh, leads area as, uh, as planned. Back in the CRM system let's just do a refresh of that view and we'll see that all of the data has now come in pulling all of those records in correctly as planned. So just to wrap up on the Excel import tool, you can create as many mappings as you need to suit uh, your particular purposes, you can edit the existing ones that you have, and you can save them for repeat use, and that's incredibly useful when you have regular imports from particular uh, data sources that need to go into the CRM system. Uh, the Excel import tool is also quite sophisticated, allowing you to, for instance, just take sections of the spreadsheet and import those as necessary. So hopefully that's been a useful insight into some of the core functions of the Excel import tool. So let's do a quick summary of what we've been looking at. The Excel import tool is easy to use, it requires no technical skills and your marketing and sales staff can use it straight away. You can work extensively in Excel, there's no need to open CRM, it will connect and map the data and there's easy drag and drop facilities for field mapping. You can pre-validate the import, detect duplicates, import to any entity and either add or refresh your existing data. So hopefully this has been a useful overview of the Excel import tool. Thanks for watching and if you want to learn any more about the Excel import tool or indeed any of our other add-on offerings for Microsoft Dynamics CRM, please get in touch via email or through the website.